Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee. All the good that is to be made manifest in man's life is already an accomplished fact in divine mind and is released through man's recognition or spoken word. So he must be careful to decree that only the divine idea be made manifest. For often he decrees through his idle words, failure or misfortune. It is therefore of the utmost importance to word one's demands correctly as stated in a previous chapter. If one desires a home, friend, position, or any other good thing, make the demand for the divine selection. For example, Infinite Spirit, open the way for my right home, my right friend, my right position. I give thanks that it now manifests under grace in a perfect way. The latter part of this statement is most important. For example, I knew a woman who demanded a thousand dollars. Her daughter was injured and they received a thousand dollars indemnity, so it did not come in a perfect way. The demand should have been worded in this way. Infinite Spirit, I give thanks that the one thousand dollars, which is mine by divine right, is now released and reaches me under grace in a perfect way. As one grows in a financial consciousness, he should demand that the enormous sums of money which are his by divine right reach him under grace in perfect ways. It is impossible for man to release more than he thinks is possible, for one is bound by the limited expectancies of the subconscious. He must enlarge his expectancies in order to receive in a larger way. Man so often limits himself in his demands. For example, a student made the demands for $600 by a certain date. He did receive it, but heard afterwards that he came very near receiving $1,000, but he was given just $600 as a result of his spoken word. They limited the Holy One of Israel. Wealth is a matter of consciousness. The French have a legend giving an example of this. A poor man was walking along a road when he met a traveler, who stopped him and said, My good friend, I see that you are poor. Take this gold nugget, sell it, and you will be rich all your days. The man was overjoyed at his good fortune and took the nugget home. He immediately found work and became so prosperous that he did not sell the nugget. Years passed, and he became a very rich man. One day he met a poor man on the road. He stopped him and said, My good friend, I will give you this gold nugget, which, if you sell, will make you rich for life. The mendicant took the nugget, had it valued, and found it was only brass. So we see, the first man became rich through feeling rich, thinking the nugget was gold. Every man has within him a gold nugget. It is his consciousness of gold, of opulence, which brings riches into his life. In making his demands, man begins at his journey's end, that is, he declares he has already received. Before ye call, I shall answer. Continually affirming establishes the belief in the subconscious. It would not be necessary to make an affirmation more than once if one had perfect faith. One should not plead or supplicate, but give thanks repeatedly that he has received. 